Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who is on a journey flipping furniture to pay off my student loan debt. So welcome to the journey. Today we are gonna have a first on my channel. I am gonna be flipping this desk today. So this is gonna be super fun because desks are super popular right now. Whether it's for at home learning or working from home, desks are super in. I am also gonna have another first for the channel today as we are going to be using Dixie Bell chalk paint for the first time. I am excited to use this on my channel because I have never used it before but I have been dying to try it because I see so many other flippers and people loving it when they use it. So I am so excited. So stay tuned for the two firsts on the channel. Let's get started. All right, so I am going to be using the White Lightning Cleaner from Dixie Bell Paint Company. So it tells me to use gloves with it so that I don't get it on my skin. And I'm going to put, it says two tablespoons per gallon. And I have about a half gallon here, so I'm just going to estimate about a tablespoon. Okay, and so then I'm just going to mix it up. And it's hot water, hot, hot water. I'm going to wipe down the dresser. At the end, once I'm done with the white lightning, then I'm gonna go ahead and take just plain water and wipe that down again to get all of the chemicals off. Oops, I was supposed to be wearing these the whole time. <laughs> We got some newspaper lining in here. 1979, the Denver Post. February 4th, 1979. That's coming up. Look at the rag, look at the water. This is why we clean. Now I need to take a fresh bucket of water and a fresh washcloth and wipe down to make sure I get all that white lightning off. But all in all, I love the simplicity of the white lightning. Just dump it in, wash it down, wipe it off, and you're done. Now I'm going to take my drill and remove all of the hardware. Keeping it all in one spot so that I don't misplace it later. out there were like nine pieces of hardware two screws each so got those all out and I'll clean those up a little bit later now I'm just going to take my simple hand sander with an 80 grit on there and I'm just gonna sand down the top a little bit as you can see there's just some minor imperfections several scratches so I'm just going to kind of buff that out. With Dixie Bell chalk paint, you don't need to do the sanding, but for the top, I do want to sand it down just so that it is a smooth finish at the end. Now 
I'm taking my microfiber cloth, just kind of feeling, making sure everywhere is smooth. If there's anywhere I need to go back over, don't want this varnish to pop off later on once I put the paint on. The next thing I am going to use is Dixie Belle Mud in the color brown. And this is similar to a wood filler. Um, I'm also going to use their plastic spatula and fill any holes and imperfections on the top and on the drawers. Part of the desk right here is popping off, so I'm just going to fill it with some Dixie Mud and then I'll sand it down once this dries. Make it into the shape it needs to be to match the rest. The other wood filler I've used before is color changing. It goes from pink to brown, but again, this isn't wood filler, but it will harden similar to wood filler. So we'll see what the result is once it dries. So I decided to go over the entire thing with Dixie Mud because all of the veneer is cracking and I just want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna put all this across the top and then sand it down later once it's dry. Alright, and that should cover it, and I am going to let the top dry probably overnight, and then I'll come back tomorrow and I will sand down the top and get ready for doing the primer, which is actually the Dixie Belle Boss, so that will be my next step. All right, so the mud has dried overnight and we are back in the garage. I am going to sand down the big chunks and then get to painting on the Dixie Belle box. So I am going to be using Dixie Belle Boss for my undercoat, kind of like a primer. This one's clear. It is to block odors, stains, and stop bleed through. So this desk is kind of a dark wood and it's kind of a reddish. And even though I'm using dark gray, I still do not want to have any of that bleed through. So I'm going to apply this to prevent that. I'm finished up with the boss, so we're gonna let that dry and then I'll get going on my paint. All right, so the boss is dry now. It's a clear coat, so you can still see through, but it's a little bit rough. So I'm gonna take my little sander, sand it down just briefly, and then tape off the drawers so I can get to painting. So I'm gonna put the tape on the drawers. This is something that I don't usually do, but I know that I need to get better at it and I need to take my time sometimes and do the right things. I'm gonna be using Stormy Seas from Dixie Bell Paint Company. I'm gonna mix it up. Ooh, it's awfully thick. 
This is a chalk paint, water-based, sizes the 32 ounce. It's pretty thick and I've seen other people using Dixie Belle paint and they kind of water it down, whether it's with a spritzer or just adding water to it in general. So I'm definitely going to go grab a spray bottle to have that on hand while I'm painting. It's looking like a much better consistency though. Let's give it a try. I'm going to be using this Scarlet brush from Dixie Belle. It's a synthetic brush and it goes on very evenly, helps the paint even out. I'm excited to try this out. It's one of their newer brushes. At any point in this video, if you see something that you like related to Dixie Belle, uh, there is a link down below that you can go to and get all of your Dixie Belle products everything that I used here, and also more options of colors, brushes, everything like that. So highly recommend checking it out. I really like this color. I love the way it's being applied. I don't know if it's the brush or the paint or both, but I'm kind of falling in love. Too much paint got bunched up in there and then when I opened the drawers the purpose of my tape was defeated but I'll just have to sand that down once it's dry. Alright, I am done with the first coat. Love the Scarlet brush. Fits right in my hand. Easy to hold on to and brush. The paint is awesome as well. Can't wait to put the second coat on to see what it's gonna look like. And then I'll of course put a top coat on, probably more than one on the top, just because it's a desk and people are gonna be writing on it. We're gonna let this guy dry. We're back, coat number two. With both coats I ended up not doing a second coat between just because it's not a spot that you can see very well and like I said the first coat really did cover awesome so next up is to let this dry and then I'm gonna apply the top coat on the whole thing and a couple on the top just to make it a little bit more protected All right, we are all dry now, so it is time to put on the top coat. So I'm gonna be using two different products from Dixie Belle, and the first one is going to be the clear coat in satin, and that's gonna be not too glossy, but not flat. I'm not a big fan of the gloss, so that's why I went with the satin. On the top, I'm gonna be using the Gator Hide because this is their toughest top coat. It is like gator hide so i'm going to be applying two coats on the top with this because on desks people are going to be riding people are going to be putting things on it you apply this with the gator hide sponge and that just you just go across um well i'm going to be applying the clear satin coat with a foam brush so i'm going to go ahead and get started here applying the satin coat to the base of the desk
time for the gator hide on top. I have done a little research on the gator hide and they said that it dries pretty fast too. So we'll be back here in a few minutes to do the second coat. Okay, I am going to be reattaching the hardware now. Top coat on the drawers is dry, so that can go on. Ugh. It's all the same hardware, but <laughs> that one seems to be a bit whiter than the rest. Let's try a different one. Eh. There we go. Got it in there. Black. I'm gonna screw in the screws. Drawer number one. Oh, wait. I gotta take the tape off. Now. I wasn't careful enough. I put tape on to be careful, but then I still got tape, I mean paint, on the other side of the painter's tape. I'm gonna have to go back, take a sander, and sand down the sides. All right, now that we're done sanding the sides of the drawers to get the paint off, let's get back to the hardware. basically the finished product all I've got to do is put one more coat of gator hide on the top let's get to it I can come away saying that I really love the Dixie Belle products obviously I am just scratching at the surface with the things that they have but I'm super excited to continue working with them and utilizing their paint for my projects. It just honestly made this piece go so much more smoothly than some of my other pieces have. Just the way that the paint went on, the coverage of the boss, and then how that protected and didn't make anything come through the color, and then the top coat just looks amazing as well the satin is not too glossy i was a little bit nervous of that the paintbrush was super flexible and like easy to hold on to and easy to maneuver and allowed me to get into the crevices without having to get huge globs of paint in there it was nice and Bonus, it was red. I've never painted with a red paintbrush, so that was awesome. It needs to dry, and then we're going to stage it, and I'm going to list it on Facebook Marketplace. All right, time to stage. The top is dry, 
and it's cured kind of overnight so I'm not nervous about putting anything on right now. Um, I'm just going to stage it, put some books on it. It's a desk and peep the Dave Ramsey book. I've been getting a few comments about being debt free and all that stuff. I do read his books. I do listen to his podcast. Maybe one day I'll do the debt free scream. That would be super awesome. But let's get back to staging. Okay, so just things that have to do with the desk. Got that off. All right, and now it's ready to take some photos. And I'm gonna get all angles, allow the buyer to see everything, that I'm not hiding anything, make sure it's looking great. I know normally I open up the garage and stuff, but we got some better lighting in here now, so I don't need to do that. And thank goodness, because I don't want to freeze my butt off. I always make sure to get inside of the drawers as well. I'm going to show them how deep the drawers are on the bottom here as well. That it's not just a normal smaller drawer like it looks. Okay, and then I make sure to get the desk without anything being staged on it. All right, so I think we're good on photos. And my next step is to measure it and then post it onto Facebook Marketplace. By 42, by 21. So I'm gonna make sure to put that measurement on my posting when I list them. I'm gonna edit the photos just to make them all even, crop nicely. And I am going to be listing this at 175. I've had a little bit of experience with desks, especially in the summer, and that's around the price that I have gotten out of them before. Maybe some a little less, so I'm gonna up this one just a tad bit. Neiman wants me to do it a little bit higher. I told him that I have my reasons. And so we're gonna go with 175 and see what happens. And I really love the way that this has turned out. This just looks so sleek and modern. I love the color, the dark gray, and it's not my normal white, which I know a lot of you have commented on how much white I do. Well, Farmhouse sells really well in my area, but this hopefully sells really well too. We'll see. So I'm gonna go get it posted on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so as I said, I listed it for that $175, and after three inquiries and a day and a half later, I got my full price of $175 for this desk. And one of those three people is actually going to come pick it up in a couple of days, but I of course made sure that they Venmoed me so that I have money in hand that way that I know that they will not bail and that they will be here to pick up this desk here soon. I think it was both a fair price for me and the buyer because again, I've had a little bit of experience with the desks and that's about the average price that I've been seeing them go on Marketplace in my area as well. For a cost breakdown, the desk originally from the thrift store was $20 and then thanks to Dixie Bell for supporting my channel and me and my flipping endeavors and paying off my student loan debt. So I didn't pay anything for the paint and the materials. That means that my total profit from this project was $155 and that is going, of course, straight toward my student loan debt. Also, be sure to head over to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel here soon. We're going to be releasing some videos on there, so I'm going to be continuing some of my journey over there. If you want to get notified, be sure to get subscribed, as well as checking out that affiliate link down below if you're interested in any of the Dixie Bell products I use today or any other things that they have on their website. Be sure to check that out and get subscribed down below to continue on this journey with me of flipping furniture to eliminate my student loan debt. Head over to Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher where I share some behind the scenes on things that I'm working on currently as well as some before and after pictures and I'll see you on the flip side.